This video covers the logical functions if, and, and or. The if function performs a logical test, meaning it checks to see something is true or false. It can return true or false, or it can return values that you specify for true and false. The and function performs more than one logical test. It only returns true or false. It will return true if every logical test it performs returns true. If even one logical test returns false, the AND function will return false as well. The OR function is kind of the opposite of the AND function. The OR function performs multiple logical tests, but it returns true if only one logical test returns true. So if no logical tests return true, the OR function will return false. But if even one out of, say, five logical tests returns true, then the OR function will return true as well. Let's go ahead and work some logical functions. In this worksheet, we have a salesperson's name, their region, their title, and their sales amount for the year. We've also set a sales target of $75,000. The first thing we want to figure out is whether the salesperson gets a bonus or not. If they meet or exceed the sales target of $75,000, then they get a bonus. So because we only have one logical test and we want to return something other than true or false, we'll use an if function. I'll type equals if and open parentheses. The first argument in the if function is the logical test. My logical test will be checking to see if the sales are greater than the sales target. So I'll arrow 1 to the left to select D3 for my sales value, and I'll type greater than or equal to, and then I'll arrow down to the cell that contains the sales target amount that I've already set. Because I'm going to copy this formula down, I need to press F4 to make that absolute, and then I can type comma to move on to the next argument in the function. My value of true will be bonus, and anytime you put text in a logical function, you need to put it in quotes. So I'll open quotes, type bonus, close quotes, and type a comma to move on to the next argument. The next argument is value of false. If the value is false, I just want to put a zero. Because it's a number, not text, I don't have to put it in quotes. Close parentheses and press enter, and you can see that our first salesperson gets a bonus. I'll select the cell and double click on the fill handle to fill down. One of the great advantages to using a cell reference for the sales target amount instead of actually typing it in as a constant is that if the sales target changes, say we decided to make it 60,000 instead of 75,000, I can go back and change that cell to say 60,000, press enter, and then I can see that my formula updated to reflect that change. So now Bennett gets a bonus as well. The next function we'll do is an AND function. We want to figure out if somebody gets a designation of top rep. And to get the top rep designation, somebody has to both have the title of rep and to have met the sales target. Because we're doing more than one logical test, and because we want both of those logical tests to return true, we'll use the AND function. I'll type equals AND, and open parentheses. My first logical test will be, is title in C3 equal to, I have to put it in quotes, rep. This isn't case sensitive, so it would be fine to put rep um, as lowercase. I'll type a comma, and my second logical test is, is sales greater than or equal to the sales target. So I have D3 greater than or equal to B13, and because I'm going to copy this formula down, I have to press F4 to make B13 absolute. Now that I have both of my logical tests in there, I can just close parentheses and press enter and copy the formula down. 
we have two people who meet the qualifications to be a top rep. For our last function, I want to check and see is somebody's region either east or west. Because I want the function to return true whether the region is east or west, I'll use an or function. I'll type equals or in open parentheses. My first logical test will be is region B3 equal to open quotes east close quotes type a comma and then my second logical test will be is region equal to west so I'll arrow over to B3 again type the equal sign open quotes and type west close quotes close parentheses and press enter. I can copy the formula down and I have my results. This concludes the logical functions video. Thank you for watching.